have some of that. Have some of that. Wonderful. Oh! Oh dear. Alright, I'm still alive. Half the enemy team is after me, but I'm still here. There you go. Yeah! Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of it. If they're on your tail, and you know they're on your tail, hit vector mode and then quickly turn around and blast them before they realize what's happening. And I think checking your rear view is fairly important. Okay. There's one around here. There he is. Okay, one behind me. Shields. Switch. Oh, apparently didn't matter. Shields didn't last for that long. I don't see how the first person mode would be any easier. You'd lose a ton of situational awareness. I can switch to it, but I don't see how it would be easier. Also, I have a dolphin thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, the Gatlings seem reasonably easy to use. The plasma is really dangerous, but it's extremely hard to aim. Although, it, again, that might be something that's easier in first-person mode. Apparently, we're also just going to play the same map over and over again, so that's fun. <laughs> I haven't even played Death Canyon or Inferno yet, at any point. Oh, cool, we're gonna play Inferno, fair enough. So, Domination Mode, we have not played that yet. The game also lacks music in-game, which is a little bit weird. It's like you get music after the game and before the game, but you don't get it actually in the game itself. And the game has bare minimum soundtrack going for it. We should try swarm missiles. What should I use with that? Probably something that allows enhanced detection. Yeah, that seems fine. We'll go with that. So what do they do exactly? Seek the closest target and loads up to five shots per salvo. Most effective when chasing or shot directly at incoming. Okay. Yeah, that works. What? Huh? What? Uh, what? <laughs> I don't quite understand what happened there. Okay. Alright. Swarm missiles are okay, I suppose. Oh, wait. Did he go that way? Oh, fuck! Okay, so this is first person mode. And that's third person. I just... Like, you don't... You get the same field of view, but you lose your ability to see, like, to the side. So this is literally worse. Like, strictly worse far as I can tell. I can't see any benefit to this at all. You see? I know. Same field of view. But restrictions around the, the... to your actual view around the side of the screen. So I don't see why you'd want to do that outside of immersion. Like, there doesn't seem to be a practical reason for it. are capable of missing a very, very large drone aircraft. Which is lovely. They don't do a good job of killing it, do they? 
There we go. What? What? You see what I'm fucking mean? Oh, God. Like, it's got to be the third or fourth time that has happened against the drone. Like, I'm very clearly not making contact with the drone, but I explode anyway. Like, am I missing something? Do you have to wait a couple of seconds before you can take the crate or something? Is that what it is? I don't know. But the game does a piss poor job of providing you feedback as to why that happened. Turn around the corner, then. Nobody's chasing me. Alright. Missiles are not that satisfying because it seems like you're more reliant on whether the missile decides it wants to hit something as opposed to your actual skill. I mean, I assume there's certainly some element of skill to using them, but most of the time it's like, I'm going to aim in this vague direction and then see if it actually hits anything. a solid job of killing myself. Pretty good at that. I think with swarm missiles, it seems like it's more reliant on how well the enemy dodges as to how, as opposed to how well you shoot, which is to me not that satisfying. Like if you're going to use missile weapons, I'd probably end up making them special weapons of some sort. That seems to make a bit more sense. I wouldn't make them, like, defaults. Sweet. Did I crash into him? Fantastic. That's what I like to see. Oh, you're getting an award for that as well. That's neat. If I was going to do something with swarm missiles, I'd make it rockets, basically. A set of, like, dumb fire rockets that shoot out in kind of a, a small spread. But as it stands, it's like, oh, well, will the enemy dodge in time? As opposed to how good a shot am I? And there's other things to consider as well about the angle of engagement and obviously dodging what the enemy's got. So it's not like it's skillless completely. It's just, I feel it's it's almost out of, uh, it's not almost out of place. It's very out of place in a game where, you know, Gatling guns and shotguns actually you know, take some real effort and skill to use. I guess hitting that was a bad idea. Where's the enemy? Where's the enemy? That's a mine! I like this level, actually. It's, it's got a big descent feel to it. A lot more use of the Harrier. As opposed to one of the levels. Well, we won anyway. And a bunch of amusing thumbnails and things that you can put in place. I like that. Let's should try some of the other weapons. Maybe rockets would be interesting. I don't think we've played Sandstorm yet. Right then. 
Okay, so loadout, rocket launcher. Is that is that supposed to be carabine or carbine? I don't know what's going on with that? Rocket launcher. There we go. Fire rate and damage. Totally, that works. Smooth operator and Tesla field. There we go. Let's rock and roll. It's a pretty game. I'll give him credit for that. Looks good. Absolutely looks good. Let me up ahead. Have some fucking rockets. Also a Tesla field. And I'm dead. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, it sounded good in theory, until I think he cloaked and then just absolutely destroyed me. I definitely like the business model behind this as well. It's like, oh, you know what? We're just going to unlock everything from the start. There's no bullshit progression. Everyone's in a deep playing field. And you can earn cosmetic customizations as you level up, which, you know, it, that's, that's a good enough... <laughs> Whoops! That's a good enough reason, I think, to level up. You know, that's that's enough. I think if I have a problem with it, it's just there's a lack of modes. You know, deathmatch, team deathmatch, domination, and bounty hunter. Not exactly fantastic variety, is it? It's not quite enough, I think. I definitely feel that some people are going to get very bored very quickly by that. Oh, well, I got a hit. And exploded. Never mind. How well does it run? Very. Like, I haven't noticed any problems whatsoever. The graphics options are fairly limited, though, as you can see over there. I'll put a frame rate counter on after this death, and I'll see what it's running at while I'm streaming. Like, it seems to be just running at 120 FPS, from what I can tell. It runs rock solid. As usual, I've got one graphics card on, not two. It's two screws with the stream, but... Yeah, it runs absolutely fine. <laughs> I'm fucking moron. Okay, give me a sec. Let me put a frame rate counter on. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see what it says. Actually, is this locked at 60? Yeah, it seems like it's it's locked at 60. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, V-Sync's off and it's locked at 60 frames per second, which is a bit of a bummer, but it's not something that bothers too many people since most people don't have 120 hertz monitors. But yeah, it runs with rock solid 60. It, at least on my system, it, it never goes lower than that, so... Not too shabby. That's a Tesla field, that is not a shield. I should probably consider that. All this is doing is making me very obvious. There is the enemy! Fly around here, switch around. Where is he, where is he, where is he? No fucking idea. Shields. Heal, heal, heal. That's a mine! Why would I want to be near that? Well, leading the target with, target with rockets is quite tricky, as it turns out. Oh yeah, I forgot the overlay. My apologies. On the boost in, I lose a couple of frames, but no big deal. And again, just bear in mind I am streaming, so that has a tendency to ruin my frame rate a little bit. Did I hit him? I think I hit him. That's a mine! <laughs> Someone close? I want to activate that Tesla field, but I can't see him, can't see him, can't see him. 
Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's not here at all. All right then. Well, that's him then. Oh! <laughs> oh my! Ow! This could definitely. It could definitely do with some pumping music of some sort. You know, it could do with a a nice soundtrack. The fact that it doesn't have that is is definitely hurting the experience for me. I think it would be nice. And obviously, I know you know it costs money to get music done, but it it definitely feels very sparse as a result of not having it. First Sergeant Dan will not ever die, apparently. So there's that. You see, how come he gets to pick it up and I explode whenever I go anywhere fucking near it? That's a mine! Oh dear. Yeah, I certainly need more practice. <laughs> That's... That's definitely, definitely a thing. Ooh, very nice. It is not an easy game. Although there are weapons which are certainly easier to use than others. Well, that was pathetic. Zero kills, three crashes. Well done! <sighs> Absolutely dreadful. <laughs> oh, that's a screen, isn't it? Uh... But yeah, I mean, that's Strike Vector. Simple as that, really. There's not a lot else to say, because really there aren't all that many other things to consider. There are no other modes. It's all online. The tutorial mode's basically terrible. Customization uh, stuff you unlock over time. That's about it. You know, not massively impressed with the choice of font and the menus in general. You would think that a game like this would have a few more graphics options. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. But yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's fun. It doesn't cost a lot of money. You get all the content from the very start. It's hard to really bitch about that. Apparently my accuracy with the shotgun is 100%. That's pretty impressive. Not sure how I managed that, but apparently I have. All right, well, that's Strike Vector. I'll take a quick break, and I'll see if there's anything else that's worth having a look at.
Can we do a bit of hawking, I suppose? That just actually came on Steam, and I've been... I don't know what it was about Hawking. I, I played it several times at shows, and it was fantastic, and then I never got into it when it came out. Let's, let's see what we can do with that. Let me just make sure that these levels are right. There we go. I don't want to deafen you as it loads. Let's give it a bash. All right. Looks like I'm going to have to mess around with a few things first before I can get this to run, however. That's a lot of intro movies I'm seeing here. Okay, can't change my resolution until I actually log into my account. I wasn't aware that I had one. I guess I do. I suppose I do have an account. Well, apparently not under that username, I don't. Okay. It it lured me that it had gone on Steam this morning. It's like, okay, cool, alright. Well, well, we'll have a look at it. It's generally speaking, games that are on Steam tend to be more interesting to people. Which is why I make videos about them. Okay. That's really nice. Okay, I am a personal agent. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's lovely. Can I change my resolution now, please? Thank you. No, I... What the f... Why would you fucking... Oh, God. Alright, so I, I need to try and show you this, but I, I'm going to have difficulty doing that because I'm currently running DX Tori, which is actually going to interfere with my ability to capture the game. But it will not let me click options until I do training. I fucking shit ye not. It's like, I can't change my resolution. That's, of course, crashed Hawking, needless to say. Uh, I can't change my resolution to a proper res until I've done the training mode. Why would you do that? Ugh, morons, 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 morons. Yes, okay, we get the idea. It crashed, I know. Let me run the... Hey, oh. that's like, up already running. It blatantly is not. <laughs> How irritating. There. You fixed? Thank you. Alright. Why the hell can't... That is just bonkers. Yeah, you go to the training mode before you can change out of 800 by 600. Like, no! It's, it's not 1995! Oh, and apparently I now can't look, actually bring the game up. Wonderful. I had this problem with... I think, I've had this problem with Unreal games lately. Which is really strange. Oh, it's not fucking running. Alright, click play. Load the game. It starts to load, and then it immediately minimizes, and then it will not load. Well, it does load, but it loads in the background. You can never maximize it. And I'm having the same problem now with Hawking. You can hear it, but it isn't loading. Uh, I don't know what's causing that problem, but it's really annoying. I actually installed the new beta drivers to try and fix it, and it did fix it for Strike Vector. But now, now it won't load, so... I don't know what's causing that problem, but if it's happening with all Unreal games, that's not good. I do not understand that at all. So you can hear it, but when I try and load it, not a damn thing. Okay, so I guess we're not doing Hawking then, because that doesn't work. Ha. Huh. I need to figure out what's causing that problem, because that that's kind of adding on to the list of stuff that's starting to go wrong with my computer these days. Let's let's do a bit of let's do a bit of strife. Let me just double check that I'm not embargoed on that, because I'm pretty sure I'm not. Uh, closed beta, no active NDA. I can say whatever I want. It is an active beta, so watch out. Okay, strife it is then. I'm pretty sure that doesn't run on Unreal Engine three. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, it's currently closed beta for this, by the way. You can apply for it, but you can't get into it immediately. But yeah, we can, we can try Strife. Okay, give me a few minutes to set this up. We're ready to begin the trial. Alright, this should be pulling from the same app. It's got kind of a launcher screen, so I'm a little concerned about that. Alright. Okay. 
I'm still kind of in the tutorial phase of Strife. They force you to go through a single-player tutorial for a while, and then sort of a bot match, and then they put you into the game. Alright. Pretty sure I can take as long as I want here. So, you know what? I'm gonna let you guys vote. Because why not? Let me fire up a straw poll. There's, what, 14 heroes currently available? Hero! Ace, Bastion, Bow... Caprice, Carter, Hale. I don't know how many options I can actually have, but I guess we're about to find out. Lady Tinder, Malady, Minerva, Moxie, who is a cat, by the way. Ray, Rook, Vermilion, and Vex. All right, polls up. Posting it. I'll scroll through what they are in the meantime. Bo is a cow, because why not? Caprice is the... I'm pretty sure I played her during the alpha. Chat's really slow right now. I'm not sure what's up with that, but hey. There you go. Those are the 14 heroes that are currently available.